Welcome to this intro to Yakindo Traceability. During this screencast, we will browse and navigate trace links, we will explore the analysis capabilities of the tool, we will create, well, at least to be honest, one link, and we will create a coverage report. Yakindo Traceability is highly configurable and can be configured to meet any process, but this showcase is inspired by Automotive Spice. So we will deal with artifacts such as stakeholder requirements or system requirements and so on. And we will create a link from a system requirement to a system qualification test. So let's just start. This is Yakindo Traceability. What do we see? In the upper left, there's a YT Explorer, where we can see the artifact types from Automotive Spice. In the upper right, there's a YT Overview, which is empty right now. In the lower left, there's the YT editor, where apparently we, will, we can create links. Uh, we don't need the selection history right now, so let's go to the favorites, where we can bookmark interesting artifacts. I prepared one for you. It is a stakeholder requirement linked to a system requirement, both extracted from doors, and a system requirement is linked to some interface specifications, which are part of the system architecture, and they have been extracted from Excel. The links between system requirement and interface specifications are maintained by Yakindo Traceability. The log symbol decorating the upper link indicates that this is not the case for this link. This link has simply been extracted from DOS. Now let's have a look in the YT Explorer. While the overview shows us the artifacts and their links as a graph, the Explorer shows the same content as a tree. But where do these data come from? Let me open the YT configuration to illustrate this. We can see that in this example, YT is configured to extract data out of XML files and Excel files, out of C source code and enterprise architect models, and out of IBM doors. And when we look at the configuration of a stakeholder requirement in detail, we can see that this module is relevant, that these objects objects inside this module are relevant and that they should be represented in YT as configured here. And just in case you don't believe me, we can navigate by a simple double click from your kind of traceability to DOS to verify this. But let's go back to your kind of traceability. When we look at the configuration of the link types, we can see that YT is configured to extract links from stakeholder requirements to system requirements out of doors. But to maintain links from system requirements to system architecture and the YT internal storage. But now enough of the configuration, let's focus on the Explorer and the overview again. When we look at the details of the Explorer, we can see that the overview tells us not the whole story. So let's set the depth to maximum. Now we see the entirety of requirements, test cases, and source code that can be traced back to one single stakeholder requirement. And with the knowledge in mind that YT is configured to show requirements in blue and test cases in green, we can easily identify some requirements which are not yet covered by a test case. Let's improve the situation. As an example, we want to create a link from a system requirement to a system qualification test. Let's switch to the analysis perspective to achieve this. What do we see here? On the left side, there's the YT dashboard, which provides us aggregated and detailed view on our trace data. Our powerful query language is out of scope now. We will discuss it in a dedicated screencast. The properties view shows the properties of the currently selected artifact, and we already know the overview. So, we wanted to find system qualification tests which exist but are not yet linked. Here they are. So, let's just look. Yeah, first one looks interesting. Let's just pick it. So, I select it, and in order to create the link, I switch back to the tracing perspective. In the YT editor, I choose the currently selected artifact to become the B end of our new link. And in order to find the matching system requirement, I open the search dialog. 
So where are the system requirements? Yeah, here we are. So let's select it and browse them. We also extracted the text for requirements from those. So we first indication which requirement is really the one that we want to link. And I simply select it and add it to the editor. But in order to be really sure, I navigate from YT to DOORS to verify that we really picked the correct requirement. And this seems to be the case. So let's just create a link. Here we are. Finally, let's create a coverage report to verify our work. So I choose the Create Report Wizard. And yes, we want a coverage report in Excel. And uh, we want the link type from system requirements to system qualification test. And create the report. And yes, please overwrite the existing report. So here we are. This is a report in Excel. And let's find the link that we just created. Here it is. But what we also can see is that our work is not yet done. There are still four test cases which are not yet linked. So while I create the missing links, you are welcome to visit our website. Thanks for your attention and bye.